Hello, good morning class 6. Today we are going to discuss about finite bar and non finite bar. In our previous class on 27th, on 27th of February, we have discussed about the finite bar and non finite bar. Okay, now we will discuss about the non finite bar, the hard line participles. Okay, participles are two types. Present participle and past participle. Okay. Participle is a word from form from a verb which is used as an adjective. Actually, it's a kind of verb which is used as an adjective in a sentence. Okay. It has two form: present participle and past participle. First, we have to discuss about the present participle. The best way to know about the present participle is it ending with ing form. It always in ing form. Okay. <coughs> now see the use of present participle form in a sentence. It is used as an objective complement. It is used as an objective complement. It is used as a subjective complement. It is used as an adjective of phrase. Okay. It is reused as an objective complement, as a subjective complement or subject complement as an adjective phrase in a sentence. First we discuss about the how it is used as an uh, object complement. Example, this is an example one He found him sleeping. I found the child crying. I found the child crying. Now, look at the last sentence. He found him sleeping. He is sleeping. He is participle. What kind of participle? Present participle. Okay. And it is used as an objective complement. Okay. How to use as an objective complement? Now see the sentence. He formed him. He formed him. Found him sleeping. Sorry. He found him sleeping. Here he is object in the sentence. Here he is object. Okay. Here yeah, him is object, but sleeping is its complement. Okay. <coughs> so it is used in is in is an objective complement. Now look at the second sentence. I found the child crying. Here crying is participle, but it is used as a complement of the object child. Okay. So sleeping crying is a the participle but it uses as an object complement. Okay. Now we will discuss about as a subject complement. How to use as a subject complement. Now look at the example. The journey was boring. Okay. The journey was boring. It's a subject complement. The journey was boring. Okay. Now look. Second sentence. The long journey was tiring. The long journey. Journey was tiring. Okay. Here boring, tiring, bizarre. These are used as a subject complement. The journey was boring. That means boring. What boring? The journey. The journey was boring. What is what was tiring? The long journey was tiring. Here the subject is long journey. Here the subject is journey. So these are the word, these are the participles which 
teacher use as a subject complement. Okay. So <coughs> now we will discuss the third point of present participle. It is used as an adjective phrase. How it is used as an adjective phrase. Now look at the blackboard very carefully. I will make you understand how it is used in the sentence as an adjective phrase. Okay. First, the man said, the, take away the door, walking here, take away the door, take away the door, walking here, okay, take away the door, walking here, look at the second sentence, the man standing near the car, the man standing, Near the car, near the car, okay, is our driver, is our driver. Now, I am participating in the sentence, we are barking, it ends with ing, standing, it ends with ing, these are the participles, but it is used as an adjective phrase, okay. How? A man standing near the car is our driver. We are standing, barking. We are standing, barking. Okay. These are the adjectives, but these are used. These are participles, but these are used as an adjective phrase. Okay. Now we will discuss about the past participle. Past participle, the best way to identify the past participle is these are the words <coughs> which ends with ed, d, en, n, etc. Okay. The use of past participle, how it used in a sentence. Past participle can be used as an object, sorry, as an adjective, as object complement or to form the past tense. Okay. It has three use. It has three use in the sentence. As an adjective, it can be used as an adjective. It can be used as an object complement, or it used to form the past perfect tense. Okay. First, I will discuss as an adjective in the sentence. How it used as an adjective in a sentence. Now, look at the example. He had a difficult class. He had a difficult class. Difficult class. First, second, look at the second example. He gave me a stolen watch. He gave me a stolen watch. Here, difficult, stolen, these are past participles. Okay? These are participles, first past participle. Okay? And these are used as an adjective in the sentence. Okay? We are defeated. Okay? It tells about the place. It describes the noun place. It describes here in second sentence stolen. Okay? It describes the noun words. So, defeated, stolen. These are used. These are participles, past participle, but they, they are used as an adjective. In the sentence. Now we will discuss about the second point. It is used as an object complement. The past participle used as an object complement. How? Now look at the example. Example number one. I find found him worried. I found him worried. I found him worried. Here the part is past participle is worried, but it is used as an Object complement. Why? Because there is an object before it. Him. Him is an object. So, worried. Worried use as a complement of an object. Him. Okay. Here, the word worried used as an object complement. Okay. Now, look at the third point. It is used to form past participle. Okay. 
past sorry past perfect the past participle also used in a sentence to form the past perfect tense okay now he has changed the mind now look at the example he has he has changed the mind changed the mind he has changed the mind okay ulkit had completed written ulkit ulkit had completed ulkit had completed written written in hindi okay now look at the two sentences first sentence changed they are completed these are all Present perfect tense. Sorry, these are past participle. Sorry, these are past participle changed and completed. Completed. Okay. But these are used to form perfect tense. Okay. Because has is used here. Here has is used here. Okay. So <coughs> this much. Try to read this chapter. of your own and try to solve this grammar let's revise in page number 52 and 53 yourself i will send it soon the question answer okay have a good day thank you